Hey friends, thanks for stopping by. Let's go make some coastal DIYs. I'm starting my first project off using this piece of driftwood that I found on the beach. It measures about 13 by five and a half. It looks like it was an old wooden shingle at one time and this will be perfect for my sign. I'm using some of this burlap that I found at the Dollar Tree and I'm cutting it to size. When I was done, I then kind of frayed the ends just a little bit to give it more of a rustic look. Then using my glue gun, I attached the ends to the wood. Now that it's all in place, I'm going to be drilling two holes on the top for my hanger. I made sure to drill them large enough to accommodate the Dollar Tree nautical rope. I decided how long I wanted to make my hanger and then I added about an extra two inches for the knots. I pushed one end of the rope through the first hole and then I made a knot. After my first side was attached, I then followed the exact same instructions and did the same for my second. This sign was so easy to make and if you don't have any driftwood, you could always just use a regular piece of wood. That would work great too. For the word welcome, I'm using one of the tin welcome signs from the Dollar Tree. I'm then giving it two coats of Calypso Sky acrylic paint. The sign is made out of some type of metal and at times it can chip or scratch. So what I like to do after my two coats of paint have dried completely, I like to give it a coat of Mod Podge and that pretty much prevents that from happening. When my welcome sign had dried, I then used my E6000 and I attached it to the burlap. I made sure to center it in the middle and then I just pressed it into place. To accent the front, I have a starfish, a sand dollar and some assorted shells. And this time I'm using my glue gun and I'm attaching them to the front of my sign. I'm making mine with a coastal theme, but you can always change it up and make it rustic for a cabin or even give it a summer feel by adding in some flowers instead of shells. I finished up by adding on my sand dollar and probably one of the easiest welcome signs I have ever made is complete. Before I start my second project, I wanted to let you know that today I'm participating in the Coastal Vibes Friend Hop, hosted by my friend Lisa Marie from Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie. She has an amazing channel and I'm going to have that linked below so you can go on over and check her out. And I'll also have the next person in the hop linked below as well. For my second project, I'm using this really pretty shell. A friend of mine was throwing it away because it had this blue stain in it. I don't know if it's ink or something, but I did try to get it out and I couldn't, but it doesn't matter because I'm actually going to be covering it up. I'm starting by using one of the floral blocks that I found at the Dollar Tree. I placed it in my shell to get my measurement and then I cut off a slice. When I was done, I checked the fit and then using my glue gun, I attached it to the center of the shell. I'm using three of these man-made scallop shells. They feel like they're made out of some type of plaster and I bought them at the Christmas tree shop and I think I paid $2.99 for six of them. I'm adding some hot glue to the back of each and then I'm placing them against the shell, giving myself a bit of a backdrop.
With my shells in place and as the focal point for my arrangement, I'm going to be using some of the succulents from the Dollar Tree. I started with my largest and then just kept adding them in. I did use the light blue one in the center as my main focal point. I love using these Dollar Tree succulents in my projects, but you know you can always replace them and just use some silk flowers instead. I'm adding in two starfish and I found these at the Christmas tree shop as well. I think they were $2.99 for six. And this other little shell, I think this came from the Dollar Tree. I added some hot glue to my first starfish and then I attached it to the floral foam. I then added some to my second starfish and attached it in the back. I have my little shell tucked in the front, but I'll be moving that when everything else is in place. I'm adding in more color and texture by using the foxtail flowers and leaves, and I found these at the Dollar Tree. I pulled the flowers from the stems. I then added some hot glue and attached them to my arrangement. I removed the little shell from the front and once all the flowers and the leaves were in place, I then used my hot glue gun and attached the shell between the succulents. And with that, my coastal shell arrangement is complete. For my third project, I'm going to make over this plant holder. It looks to be in pretty tough shape and it's starting to rust. Before I paint it, I'm using a piece of sandpaper and removing as much rust and flaking paint as I can. When I'm done, I'm then painting it with this pretty turquoise sky spray paint. Now that it's painted and dried, I'm going to be adding on some driftwood accents. I thought I'd show you a little bit of my driftwood collection. I live near the beach and I cannot help myself. I'm always picking it up, so I'm going to be using a few pieces that I had in this stash. I chose these three pieces and I'm going to use my Starbon Thick Glue to attach them together. This is my go-to glue for all my wood projects. It sets up super quick, and I actually have the company linked below in case you'd like to go and check it out. Instead of sliding a pot into the holder, I'm actually going to be making a driftwood shelf. With my driftwood glued together in one piece, I'm now using my E6000 and I'm attaching that to the holder. I let my holder set up overnight and now I'm going to add some of the Dollar Tree nautical rope as an accent. This time I used my glue gun and I glued them around the edges of the wood. With my rope accents in place, I painted one of the Dollar Tree terracotta flower pots with the same turquoise sky spray paint. When it was dry, I used the same nautical rope and with my glue gun, I wrapped it around the top part of the flower pot. When I was done, I used my glue gun and I attached a starfish to the front. To cover the leaf pattern on this holder, I'm going to use some of the assorted size shells from the Dollar Tree. I first placed them over the leaves, then I used my E6000 to hold them permanently in place. I let it set up overnight, added some succulents into the flower pot, and with that, my coastal shell flower holder is complete.
Thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me, and I hope you enjoyed these coastal makeovers. If you're new and you haven't yet subscribed and you're thinking, hey, I'd like to come back and hang out with her again, don't forget to click that little red subscribe button below. I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.